Soul power. 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 Scene one, Apple, Hello everybody, take one. welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're back with some more Madden NFL 19 information. And on this video, guys, and before we get this video going, and just in case you guys hit me up in the comment section, like I know you guys will, I'm wearing this Denver Broncos hat because it was given to me in a giveaway. It was given to me in a giveaway, giveaway, guys. And it's not my favorite team, but it's an NFL team, and I love the NFL, so I'm sporting it, guys. I'm sporting the Denver Broncos hat, baby, representing the National Football League. But let's get into this video. Uh, we're gonna talk about replay, camera views, and commentary callback stories. I think this is a more, these are more things that's gonna immerse you more in the game. I like it, you know, it's not a big feature, but it's a feature that's that counts is it adds to part of it, that adds to the immersion part of this game. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm just gonna read it to you guys verbatim, and uh, we're gonna take it like it is, guys, because I want to give you guys the straight up information. Like I said, guys, don't worry about going to the the website, EA Sports website. If you want, that's all cool and dandy. You, you like reading things in detail, getting information, but Hollywood's got you. Hollywood's got you, baby. I'm bringing it to you right now. I'm bringing it to you right now, so don't even worry about it. And for future information, say all y'all got to do is say, man, Hollywood's coming. I know Hollywood's coming with a video. That's all you got to say, guys, because I'm coming with another video, baby. Okay, here we go. It says, we've added two additional cameras, camera types, to our replay presentation. Now, we're talking about replay, guys. Replay. I'm hoping this is going to be professional type replays. Again, we're talking about immersion, guys. We got to have an immersion experience with Madden NFL 19. Now, they're talking about an orbital and overhead. An orbital. The orbital, orbital camera is an action shot where we ramp down the replay feed, then rotate the camera 360 degrees around the action. Man, that sounds good. When we're talking about watching replays, guys, that sounds really good. Let me read that part again. I actually like that part. Um, we ramp down the replay feed, then rotate the camera 360 degrees around the action. It enables us to showcase player authenticity. Oh, man, they talking good, guys. And animations. Like what you see in Hollywood action films so this is the part guys that I like you know this is not something somebody would have on a wish list but you can tell they put thought into this game guys they put thought into this game as far as bringing us into an immersion giving us something new and innovative something fresh and that's the thing we have to, they, they I think EA has to do is keep us interested man come up with innovative things new things and I think this is one of those innovative things that we will enjoy in this game um, when they talk about Hollywood action films okay it says the overhead camera shoots directly down the goal line to show when the players has broken the plane for a touchdown Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. so we're actually going to see replays when they break the plane for a touchdown Man, I can't wait. And so it's an overhead camera that shoots directly down the goal line to show when the player has broken the plane for a touchdown. And I'm hoping they have some great uh, commentary with the replays and not just show us the replays. But we're going to see, guys. We're going to see. It's a unique perspective as you get to see the holes in the blocking. Yeah, in the blocking in a more defined way. So yeah, I guess we can learn from that camera view. Um, you know, when you see holes, you can say, "Oh man, I should have cut back. Oh man, I should have, I should have, I should have been patient and and went behind this block." We can actually see the blocking in a more defined way, as well as follow a player as he dives over the pow into the end zone. As he dives over the pow into the end zone, man, this is sounding good. Now, now we're talking football, guys. Now we are talking football, okay? 
Now remember guys, we're talking about the replay camera views, replays. In addition to these two new replay camera angles, we've enabled post-play replays for head-to-head -head games. Ooh, wow, they never really showed things in head-to-head -head games. Now, I'm wondering if that's just head-to-head -head offline when you're playing your friends and your buddies like in the same room. Or is that online head-to-head? -head? If, if that's a feature they can do online head-to-head, -head, it would be nice. But I don't think so because that's not necessarily you want to see online. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But it, it sounds good when they talk about head-to-head -head games. Okay. Now, when you secure a touchdown, sack the quarterback, or make a game-winning play, you'll be able to make your opponents relieve that moment relieve that moment Whew. I, mean, I really understand what they're saying now when you score a touchdown a sack or sack the quarterback or make the game a game winning play you'll be able to make your opponent relieve that moment or believe that moment maybe there's a typo anyway guys but this is all sounding good when they talk about camera uh, camera views and replays now let's talk about the commentary callback stories as now, this is another innovative thing guys it's going to put us closer in the game as far as immersion as we continue to improve the b believability of our commentary team and you know we got a great commentary team guys uh Galton and Davis we've added the concept of calling back on a previous said line or topic during the game so I guess if they talk about something like in the beginning of the game, so-and-so is leading the NFC in uh, rushes or broken tackles or something like that, they will refer back to that in some parts of the game if it, if it makes sense. Um, so I guess that's what they're saying. Um, as we continue to improve the believability of our commentary team, we've added the concept of calling back on a previous set line or topic during the game. The goal of this feature is to allow our commentary to carry a storyline throughout the game. Drive or moment. Okay. This gives the impression that our commentary team knows what they've said in the past. Now, that sounds pretty good guys it's gonna be more like it's real life more like it's a live commentary um, yeah and are following along with the developments of the story you've triggered during the game here's an example of a callback story of a moment okay here we go it's third and long and the offense is backed up against their own end zone Ooh, that would be a tough. That would be a, that would be a tough position to be in, guys. Third and long, backed up against your own end zone. You got to watch blitzes and I'm all, oh, I'm getting all carried away, man. I'm getting all carried away. Okay, Charles mentioned Charles Davis mentions that he would try to get some room for the punter by running the ball or possibly catching the defense off guard with a screen. Based on your call and the results of the next play, let's say it was an incomplete pass. Brandon will reference what Charles said before about not waiting to be compressed in the in, in your end zone. Okay, I see what they're saying. Wow, they're doing it between both of them. Oh, between both uh, guys. All right, so Charles will respond reiterating that passing backed up is a gamble and now your punter will have to get the punt away out the back of of his own end zone with the defense able to put more pressure on him which is risky okay so they're going to conversate and remember what they said and go back to it that's going to be nice guys that's really in-depth commentary Another instance could be Charles talking about how an opponent running back was a thousand yard rusher last season and keeping him 
under 100 yards this game will be paramount in giving you the best chance for victory. As the game progresses and he and Brandon will reference how you are or aren't keeping your opponent away from that 100 yard threshold and how it's impacting likely outcome for this contest. So that's good guys, they're giving their impressions on what could happen, uh, what you should probably do or be aware of. So I like that. I really like that. Let me read that one more time. Another instance could be Charles Davis talking about how an opponent running back, opponent running back was a thousand yard rusher last season. And keeping him under 100 yards this game would be paramount in giving you the best chance for victory. So they're saying he was a thousand yard rusher. And so you want to keep him under 100 yards in this game. So it would be the best chance for, for you to get a victory if you can keep the running back under 100 yards. <laughs> and they were referenced to that he was a thousand yard rusher last season. So they are telling the story, guys. They are telling the story. Um, the callback stories. So that's good. They even referenced stuff from the last season. So I like that. And so they're saying in the commentary, you keep him under 100 yards, that would be your best chance for victory. As the game progresses, he and Brandon will reference how you are or aren't. Oh, keeping your opponent away from that 100-yard threshold and how it's impacting likely um, or, or outcome for the contest. So they're going to even reference how if you're close to keeping him under 100 yards, if you kept him under 100 yards, if you didn't keep him under 100 yards. So that's actually pretty immersive commentary, guys. That's pretty immersive commentary. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you understood the video. You know, when they're talking about commentary callback stories, that's going to be very immersive. And talking about the replay camera views. I really like this information, guys. I think we're going to have a really good game this year. You know, it won't be perfect, but it's going to be better than Madden, 8, Madden NFL 18. For all you guys that got codes out there, uh, beta codes, uh, I got one uploading right now, guys. And uh, I hope you guys are giving that feedback so we can have one of the greatest Maddens ever. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.